and welcome to week two. Take a moment to place your hands onto your thighs. Let the shoulders slide down away from your ears. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. Just take a couple deep breaths in and out through your nose. Next, allow your chin to come down towards your chest. The shoulders are still down and away from the ears. While we keep the chin down towards the chest, slide it towards the right shoulder. Chin back to the center and towards the left shoulder. through your center and lift the head back up. This time we'll connect right ear to right shoulder. Straight up, left ear to left shoulder. Lift the head back up, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, turn the head to look over the right shoulder. Turn the head to look over the left shoulder. Back to look forward. Take a few shoulder rolls backward to start. Then forward. Very good. Slide your hands on and meet your thighs and maybe slide forward a little bit on the chair so you have space. We'll do cat and cow. So as you breathe out, round the back, lean back, small amount, chin to chest. As you breathe in, open the front of your body, chest is open, chin is up. And we'll flow back and forth. So the cat posture is the round back, leaning back. Cow posture is opening up the front of your body. Move back and forth two more times. Feel the vertebrae in your back moving with this movement and creating space. Very good. Sit tall again. Keep the left hand where it is and extend the right arm straight up. So reaching up towards your ceiling, deep breath in. Little side bend, reaching up and over towards the left side of the room. Straight back up. Then allow the hands to come all the way down. Come and tuck it into the under the right thigh. This time the left arm extends straight up. And as you exhale, a little side bend, reaching up towards the right side of the room. Straight up, and left hand down. Come and touch the knuckles in front of your chest. So, so at chest level, so the elbows are high, we'll work on a torso twist here. So moving side to center, opposite side to center. Let's do this five times. Three more to go. I'm almost done. Last one here, each side. Very good. Keep the uh, the, the fist towards your um, collarbone. And then we'll open the elbows wide. So now the uh, fist will come up and you'll extend the arms out. Bend those elbows again, the uh, fist come back towards the collarbone. This time keeping the elbows high, see if you can bring them under and up. So fist towards collarbone, over, back in, 
and under. Fist to collarbone, over, in, and under. Let's do this one one more time. Notice how my elbow stays high the whole time. I don't sink in. Very good. Just shake it up a little bit. Fantastic. So lean back into your chair and get your back connected to the back of the chair. Draw the right knee in first, extending the leg five times. Three more. Try to tuck it in as tight as you can and drop it down. Left leg the spine in and out for five, four, three, two, and one. Foot down. Sit up tall, take a deep breath. Exhale it out through your mouth. Back again to the chair, this time lifting the right leg, pointing the toes this time and pulsing for five, four, three, two, and one. Leg down, left leg this time, pointing the toes and pulse for five, four, three, two, one, and down. We'll lift from the chairs five times as, as per week one. So lean a little bit forward, step up. When you're at the top, I want you to press your pelvis forward and tuck the glutes right in. Sit with control and down. Four more times. Last three. Very good. Two more. Oh, we get the last one. We'll repeat those last three movements so we can do two sets. So the first one was the knee bend. So sit back in your chair, right knee comes in first, five times. We're just running through those last three uh, exercises one last time. We get two to go. The right foot down, we're starting with the left knee in for five, one more here, okay, the next one was the extended leg, so start back with the right leg here, toes point out and pulse it, four, three, two, one. Let it go, left side, lift up. It's almost the end of the exercise here. Your heart rate might be a little bit higher and that's fantastic. So that was five count. We have the five sitting up. And we're always on lift up and squeeze. Very good. Remember the pelvis forward. We get three more. One last one to go. Very good. So sit, keep sitting on the, the front of the chair here, hands to your thighs. I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Take a really deep breath in through your nose. And I want you to sigh it out through your mouth. One more time, same thing. Deep breath in through your nose. Side it out through your mouth. One last thing. So take the, the feet a little bit wider on the floor and see if you can lean forward. So the forearms will come and connect to your inner thighs. Allow your head to be heavy. I want you to move the head a little bit from side to side, just shaking off some of the tension that you may have in your upper back and shoulders. Right. And walk it back up. Sit back in your chair all the way back. It's been about 10 minutes here. I think you did a fantastic job. This is week two.